In Washington Tuesday, Gordon Cooper, the Air Force major who became a national hero by orbiting the Earth 22 times, received a medal from President Kennedy, an ovation from Congress, and cheers from more than 200,000 persons who had turned out to greet him. Before the president gave Major Cooper the NASA Distinguished Service Medal at a ceremony in the North Portico of the White House, Mr. Kennedy summoned four of the five other astronauts who had made space flights. Alan Shepard, Virgil Grissom, Scott Carpenter, and Walter Schirra. John Glenn is currently on a goodwill tour of Japan. We're delighted to honor today the most recent of this uh, very exclusive group, Major Cooper, who uh, went furthest in space and did so on the anniversary of Charles Lindbergh's flight to Paris. Charles Lindbergh took approximately the same time to go about one 150th of the distance of Major Cooper. Both flights were equally hazardous, both were equally daring. I think uh, one of the things which uh, warmed us the most during this flight was the realization that however extraordinary computers may be, that we are still ahead of them and that man is still the most extraordinary computer of all, his judgment, his nerve, and uh, the lessons he can learn from experience still make him unique and therefore make man flight necessary and not merely that uh, of uh, satellites. I know that a good many people say, uh, why go to the moon? Just as many people said to Lindbergh, why go to Paris? I think that uh, the United States has committed itself to this great adventure in the 60s. I think before the end of the 60s, we will see a man in the moon, to the moon, an American. And I think in so doing, it's not merely that we're interested in making this particular journey, but we are interested in demonstrating a dominance of this new sea and making sure that in this new great adventurous period that the Americans are playing their great role as they have in the past.